I'm going to be talking about high altitude disease, which is also known as brisket disease or pulmonary hypertension. This is a result of elevated pulmonary arterial pressures, also known as PAP. Generally affects animals less than one year of age residing at an elevation above 5,000 feet. PAP measures have been shown to be a very good indicator of susceptibility to brisket disease. Differences in PAP values have been shown to be highly heritable. Cattlemen at high altitudes can use bulls with low PAP values to eliminate this problem from their herd. This occurs when there is an oxygen shortage at high elevations, which causes an increased resistance to blood flow in small arteries in the lungs. The heart compensates for higher resistance by stretching and building up a higher pressure. This pressure continues to increase fluid in until it leaks out of the bloodstream and collect in the chest cavity, which is also known as the brisket. Ultimately, the heart wears out and stops beating. Research has shown that heritability of brisket disease can range from 42 to 77 percent. This indicates that cattle men can successfully select against the disease by curing cattle with high PAP. PAPs are obtained by a procedure called the right heart catheterization. This is the area where the brisket is. The right heart catheterization is a procedure with, that uses a fine plastic tube. It is passed through a needle in the jugular vein. That's a picture of the jugular. And it flows into the atrium, through a valve, into the ventricle, through a valve, into the pulmonary artery, just short of the branches to the lungs. Pressure waves are observed on a heart monitor, which gives a direct readout of true average pressure. The PAP test is the best indicator available to date for identifying animals predisposed to brisket disease. This test isn't 100% accurate. Cattle with PAP values greater than 50 are considered to be of higher risk. But at the T Heart Ranch, they will <laughs> do sales with pre-tested bulls that are perfect for higher altitudes. They test their bulls twice, once at weaning and once at yearling, at their lowest elevation on the ranch of 7,680 feet. And there's your references. Okay, the one thing is, now the brisket isn't exactly the chest cavity. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you say chest cavity, you might say that's your uh, thoracic cavity. But the brisket is really cranial to that, you know, and you pointed it out well. So it's not quite synonymous. It's cranial to the open chest cavity, okay? And why did you pick this topic? Um, I don't, it just is. It, it piqued your interest, <laughs> right? Yes. Very